There are a lot of reasons that you want a well-staffed, well-trained fire department in your community. One you may not consider is what you pay for your home insurance. Recently, Toledo's Fire and Rescue Department saw its rating drop according to the Insurance Services Office. So, what does that mean for the force? What does it mean for Toledoans? Our Silver Barker spoke with an insurance agency expert and joins us now. So, Silver, should homeowners be worried? Well, according to Dan Srogans, the vice president and head of personal lines, insurance sales and service with AAA, he says homeowners should not worry. He says this small change does not affect much and will more than likely not cause your property's insurance rates to change. Every four to five years, an evaluation is done on fire departments by a private organization called Insurance Services Office. That rating is then factored in and used by insurance agencies when deciding how much of your house they can insure. The protection class takes that rating and many other factors into consideration when establishing that baseline rate. Dan Scrogans, the vice president and head of personal lines insurance sales and service with AAA, says the rating gets combined with other factors and makes up a protection class. The number of fire stations, the number of firefighters, the number of units, the uh, the distance of fire stations to the majority of the housing, the number of fire hydrants. On a scale from 1 to 10, with 1 being the highest, the city of Toledo's fire and rescue department received a 2 in their evaluation. The differentiation between a class one, which is considered superior, and a class two, which is still considered very, very good, are, are going to be very minimal when it comes to uh, insurance impact. In a letter written by the chief of TFRD, Allison Armstrong, they say they were scored on water supply, emergency communications, including 911 calls, and overall fire department operations. Armstrong says the evaluations also include a community risk reduction that recognizes community efforts to reduce losses through fire prevention, public fire safety education, and fire investigation. Armstrong also explained that the reason for the lowering in their score is due to training in non-essential activities, which has become increasingly challenging due to COVID. We don't have a dedicated our own training uh, where it would be great if we could, um, you know, have provided that, but that's going to cost several millions of dollars. And, and we reached out to other fire departments to see where they lie in terms of their ratings. Sylvania Fire Chief tells me they're at a two as well, but we have not yet heard back from other fire departments. Scrogan says most of the fire departments in Northwest Ohio are doing well when it comes to these ratings. In studio, Silver Barker, WTOL 11.